I saw my life. As my lucky butterfly is always for you guys. Peace, blessings, love, and abundance. This video right here is about hip hop. Um, and I won't call it an evolution, but I will call it a natural cycle. That um, anything in the universe goes through a cyclical pattern. And um, today, I don't, let me just start off by saying, I do not tune into um, popular culture, what's going on. A lot of times I don't know who died, as we call death in the human family. Um, but today I found out that LaShawn Daniels, who wrote a lot of popular songs for um, people like Beyonce and Leslie Child, um, Whitney Houston, um, Brandy and Monica, The Boy's Mind, and also Brandy's, a lot of her dark style songs in one of her best albums um, that I really, really love, as well as um, uh, Jennifer Lopez and it's, it's Spice Girls, the list can go on and on. Um, Tamar Braxton, that he had transitioned in September of this year, he died in a car crash. And then today, I found out that a rapper who, who went by the name of Juice World and his, his, his name given at birth was Gerard or, yeah, Gerard um, Anthony Higgins, which his initial spell Ja. J A H God motherfucker. Um, so I found out that these that these niggas had transitioned, and what came to me at first it, it felt like a little bit of sadness. I was googling and really like, and then I was like, yeah, girl, why are you sad? These niggas have transgender. They have literally left this world. So I definitely um, send love out to their families because I get it. If a member of my family transition, it would be an emotional journey for me. But at the end of the day, I have faith that I would come to the inevitable conclusion that they have freed themselves from the prison that is what we call Earth, from this physical vehicle, this dense body that has um, encapsulated our soul. Um, and so, in the, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk a little bit about. Um, hip hop and the transition of hip hop and why it was meant to be the way it is right now in order for us to be able to let go of Earth. Um, if you're familiar with Brother Panic, Bobby Kimmy, uh, Phil Valentine, or anybody who has come before me, um, they have talked about how um, before we, we became um, quote unquote human in a physical dense, heavy, if you listen, we used to be the really light, we still um, being, we were angelic, we were, which basically just means that you are light being. We were able to move at the, the uh, speed of sound or light. We were able to um, manifest things just like that. The things that we thought and the thought things we came, they actualized because they weren't a physical they were not physical, um, as what we're doing right now. So they were not dense and heavy. They were not slow uh, moving. And um, that's basically what I want to talk about. So what we're doing right now um, in being in this existence is we are relearning who we are. And so we're now doing the alchemy to go from being a physical and then everything is physical thinking, um, left brain thinking, analytical, to get back into our right mind, which is our subconscious mind, which actualizes and intellectualizes and makes things happen on a spiritual plane, so the existence and everything happens. The actual thing, it happens instantaneously, all right? And so, um, uh, excuse me, because I did uh, perfect recognition. Um, as I was reading all these things, so as I was reading about um, um, Gerard Anthony Higgins, aka Ja, I noticed that, okay, this is the transition on uh, December the 8th, alright, he was born on December the 12th, and in 1998, his number actually added to the number 9, and 
and numerology and the number nine has to do with transformation and ending. But he actually made it to his 21st birthday, the number three, which is his trinity, which is the Godhead, all right? And that means that he had gotten back in his Godhead. I saw a video on Instagram with, um, what's his name, Sway from MTV, and he was explaining the, um, the artist Juice World was explaining the number 999 and why the number 999 resonated with him. But 999 is a number of transformation, it's a number of endings, alright? Um, he was explaining that to him, and he was explaining it was the reverse, reverse of the number 666. And his number, he was still relating it to something that was quote unquote evil, even though if anybody who follows my channel knows that I know. That number 666 has to deal with, the, with melanin and the melanated people who they call black on this plane and they call us evil. And that's because we are our magical people when we are in our right mind. But most of us are insane. We are part of the insanity of humanity. We are the insanity of humanity. <laughs> we are the insanity of humanity because we are the ones who have created this physical realm that we are currently um, in, which is insanity, which is all of this perversion and all of this, this lower vibrational energy. But anywho, um, so um, Juice World was talking about that. So real quick, Juice World, his name came from Tupac's movie Juice, which I saw because I grew up in. That was part of my... Um, you, the movie you, and I, and Tupac was my favorite in that motherfucking movie, he didn't give a fucking shit, he had no morality, morality has to deal with humanity, um, and that's not a part of universal law, if you look at the seven hermetic principles, it talks nothing about humanity, humanity's, um, ideas of morality, which is all the shit that we call sin, none of that shit matters in the universal law. Alright, so anywho, um, he's tied to the energy of Tupac, so he's tied to the energy of Messiah, so Jesus world, um, was definitely a Messiah, um, he came here to, um, to elevate the culture of what rap has become, so when I said that I was here, I was talking about the elevation of rap, or the change in rap. When rap first came out, it was poetry. It was speaking to your soul. It was basically telling you that you were something more than what you were, were portrayed to be. Um, it was an art form. And it continued to devolve, as some people will call it, into a materialistic existence because we evolved into a materialistic existence however what it was doing is it was it was trying to get us comfortable with the death culture which is what melanated people are about we are um reincarnated egyptian or, or comedic people which experimented in death culture we we're working on getting ourselves comfortable with dying and realizing that death is the real life, all right? Leaving and exiting, exiting this body is the real life. So these current rappers, and I was looking, I don't know hardly any of their names because I don't listen to their music. However, I do know who Kodak Black is. I do know who Little Uzi Vert is. I do know who Little Yachty is, who... Triple X is um, Nation, I think that's what his name is pronounced is. I don't listen to his music, as you can tell, because I don't know how his name is pronounced. But, um, I do, do know who they are. They all look the same. A lot of them have tattoos on their faces. They have a lock. Um, a lot of them have the, they are the symbol of duality because they do have gold locks on one side and black locks on the other side showing you the yin and the yin principle they are literally gods who came here to look like total idiots to play the fool and for people to doubt who the fuck they are and who the music is shit and the music don't make sense 
but they are but what they are is a symbol all right of your divine self and your divine mind which is both yin and yang which in its perfect form is androgynous and the androgynous means the balance the perfect balance of the masculine and the feminine principles and so um we had nixie hustle transition this year last year we had triple x from nation i think but that's not how things turn out whatever um we had um youth world transition this year so basically what they stand for is the quote unquote black people getting back to understanding that death is not the end when you leave an exit with body, you actually get back to your true self, which is the spiritual realm. Anything that is infinite, it never dies. But the physical body will always die. That's why it ages. That's why you go from being a baby. You come out of your mother, and then you go through the stages of being a little, little boy or girl, to being a, what they call a teenager to being a young adult, to being middle age, to being older, which is when you get into tap into your, your wisdom from your experience of going through all those phases. And that's the point where you realize that death is the only thing that is true. It's the only thing that is real in this existence. And when you exit this body, you have, well, before you exit this body, you're supposed to get into a um, realization that you're totally comfortable with the fact that, that death is what in, is inevitable and the spirit room being, being that you are a soul in a human body and that you are not meant to stay in this body it is temporary it's for your experience of existence and for you to grow as a soul and when you exit this body you become more wiser you become um, more, uh, well, that's really it. You become more wiser of what the existence really is, and you are able to transmute uh, that energy and become the God that you see the God. It is literally God experiencing itself in a human. That's what you always do. And when you start to accept that, the more and more you accept that, the, the easier it is to let go of the physical existence. So people like Deep World and Triple X can make you in. Again, if I'm breaking the name, let it go. Um, they came here in order to get us more comfortable with letting go of it because the masses of the, the unconscious collective is caught up in humanity and they are here to help you release it to help you release your hold on the physical realm that is an illusion in itself because the physical realm is an illusion it dies it is not permanent what is reality is permanent all right so i really just want to share that with you guys not to get into the details of all of the numerology because it is definitely truly deeper and deeper and deeper because um I was looking at where um Mercury Mercury was when he transitioned for Pluto. We know that we know that most of the planets not most, but a good chunk of the planets are in Capricorn right now. Um, Capricorn is tied to Saturn. He transitioned on the eighth day of this month. The number eight is tied to Saturn. Saturn um, is the planet of the perfect black. So it's really like him going back to his soul. To me, the soul is black. The soul is black light. And it's not what we've been told that black is. The actions of light. Because light lives in the darkness, in the black. But they call black, so all light comes from darkness. So he literally went back to the darkness. And so with him transitioning to the number eight, he went back to the infinite, the darkness, the soul. He went back to himself. He served his purpose. And he was a God. That's why his initials are God. Alright? But, um, anyways, I'm going to end the video on that note. 
Um, again, the transition of hip hop went from uh, literally the, the females rapping, the um, rocking, the bamboo shaped earrings, the triangular shaped earrings, rocking the um, rocking the um, uh, gold, which is what our melanin represents, because it is gold. Um, rocking the halos, the afros, the afros, the halo, the locks, and the braids, actually, uh, this is the, uh, the serpent, this is the serpent, y'all, rocking the serpent, which is your inner notion, um, actually, I'm gonna share this with you guys, why I've been on hiatus, I've been having really powerful dreams, I've been having lucid dreams, and I've been having really powerful dreams, and in one of my, when I was coming out of a dream, I saw a snake in my third eye. And I, it was crazy because afterwards I heard a video from the panic talking about how he had saw multiple times he had saw a snake. And the snake is actually tied into the constellation, um, um, Ophitus, I think it's how it came out. But that's what they call the 13th um, zodiac sign. And it's tied into that because that is the beginning of Gnosis. That is tied into the snake that was on the, the tree of knowledge. Because the snake actually gave Adam and Eve the key to knowing that they were God and not to be led by a false god, which is your ego. It was allowing you to, to, to let go of your ego because your ego is scared of death. Your ego is tied to the physical being. And, and everything so um yeah but I'm not going to get into all of that so I just wanted to share that with you guys um really quick um like I said I have I actually listened to music for the first time I did world and um I actually saw some ties into my um age turning 41 they claimed that he had 41 bags of marijuana on the plane and um LaShawn Daniels, he died at the age of 41, so I can see the connection with me. So that's literally what you're looking for in this world. You're looking for connections with yourself, because remember, the illusion is the appearance of separation. When everything is connected, I'm connected to my father, I'm connected to my mother, my sister. We all are one, but we are in the illusion of separation, because God dwells in all of us. And anywho, I'm going to end the video on that note. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I've been on hiatus, but I'm back here. Peace.